is uh, Mutale Mubanga. I'm the workshop manager for BHL, which is obviously Bugs Howledge uh, Transport Company, um, the Dollar Depot. I'm the workshop manager for the Dollar Depot. So basically, uh, Bugs Howledge or BHL in short is a transport company that uh, obviously deals in transportation of uh, uh, various goods, be it local or international. So we run, we have routes from Wabi um, Spade, uh, DRC, and also, also other routes that would obviously arise as the, that would come up as need arises. So we are a, a, a transportation company that deals in uh, cross-border uh, transportation of goods, uh, various goods, dangerous goods, or whatever may be the case may be. Um, basically, being a workshop manager obviously entails managing day-to-day -day, uh, workshop activities. Obviously, there's job allocations. Uh, also, there's um, the, the human resource aspect of it because every day you have to deal with the guys that are working in the workshop. Uh, there's also planning on how you're going to sort out uh, the jobs, uh, track floor, workflow. Um, yeah, so in simpler terms, it's just basically management of number one, the workshop itself. Number two, the workforce, which is obviously mechanics, panel beaters, welders, anything that has to do with the workshop. So, yeah, in summary, that's basically it. Okay, I must say I'm quite impressed. Uh, this is not basically the picture that I had about Nautic, because if I compare what I saw now and uh, last time that I was in college or something, I think there's really been uh, great uh, advancements when it comes to uh, the equipment or uh, technologies that obviously that have been infused in, so that, uh, students are well acquainted with uh, the systems that are out there. Well, like we mentioned earlier when we were doing the induction or the walkabout, uh, technology has been changing every day and I'm actually very impressed that we have all these modern things that have been brought in by the institution. So that, uh, uh, students, as students are being released for, uh, into the into the industry per se, they are well up to date with um, with the technology. So I'm very impressed. Well, um, I think you're doing just fine. But obviously, like we mentioned, technology is always changing day by day. But uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, going by what by what what I saw, I think we we you guys are actually doing fine. It's obviously, you have the simulators. You have all those electrical circuits, you have all the pressure testers, I think you're doing just fine. But obviously as technology demands, uh, you obviously will make ad advancements as per uh, time or uh, uh, situations of the say. But I think you're just fine. We, this is good. If you check in other countries, you'll find women actually working in an assembly plant. You go, go and check on CAT's website, you'll find the women that are busy uh, assembling uh, differentials, transmissions, and so on and so forth. I think it's just the African mentality that uh, was obviously imposed on us by our forefathers to say, this can only be done by men. So that's not the case anymore. Yeah, well, no, things have changed now. It's, it's not like old days where would be, or certain things would be limited to say these, these are male-dominated uh, things. Well, it's evident now we have um, an intern who's obviously doing electromechanical at CBU, and we also have other, other ladies that we have in the workshop. Some are mechanics, some are into stores. So I think we are an equal opportunity uh, employer, or per se, like my colleague had mentioned earlier. And I think, as I said earlier, things have changed now. It's not, it's not limited to men only. Now we've seen women becoming pilots, we've seen women becoming all sorts of things that they would not do uh, before. So I think, yes, there's room for that. Take up the challenge and give it a go. It's, it's, it, <laughs> times have changed now. So. Uh, if we can do it, they can do it. Just, just as we can cook in the kitchen, they can also do it. So yeah, they should give it a go, give it a try. Well, number one, I think I'll talk about, um, like I, if you remember in my early uh, remarks, I did mention to say now the industry has greatly changed compared to the times that we've been in college. There's been a lot of advancements that have been made. And there's, I think there was this urgent need that we actually start bringing some of our technicians that we have to come and do 
uh, a little bit of refresh courses so that they can be up to date with the technologies that have changed. And I think Nautic is doing quite a good, a great, a great job per se because there's all these systems that have been uh, brought up. So that we, I mean, obviously the aim is to make sure that as we release artisans out there to the industry, they are well acquainted with the new systems that have uh, been brought up. So I think there's there's urgent need to actually bring bring back some of the guys that were in school a long time ago to come and get acquainted to these systems. Because the biggest challenge I would have is obviously technology uh, technologies changing every day, systems changing every day, every now and then. So there's always that um, uh, there's consistency that needs to be um, uh, implemented with the systems that are changing day by day. Uh, okay, uh, for obviously, like you mentioned, graduates that um, there's always that phobia when uh, you're joining, uh, where you're getting your first formal employment and so on and so forth, and things seem a little bit different because now you're dealing on the actual things uh, in comparison to things that have been uh, uh, stationed in the workshop or have been just placed for practical um, attempts and so on and so forth. Um, I think in life, nothing is difficult. First, number one, you have to develop um, a mentality of willing to learn or an attitude of wanting to learn. Like you need to be eager to learn new things and actually experience things on the practical, on the, or in the real world, per se. <laughs> so I'd say they just have to, to have an open minded, be ready for scrutiny, and also be eager to learn. That would be my simple advice. Well, um, I think the best is already, has already been established, like we saw from the various systems that we have, uh, that you guys have per se. The best has already been established, it's just more of getting into the actual things and whatnot. So like I did mention earlier on, it's obviously just having an open mind to actually do the real thing and obviously because industries are a little bit different when it comes to uh, college and so on and so forth because then we obviously demand for production and so on and so forth. But the simpler thing, like I mentioned earlier, is just to be open-minded and also be ready for scrutiny. Because then you have supervisors that need, like in our business, we need trucks to move. So there's, there's no room for sleeping, <laughs> for lack of better words. So it's just to be ready to give it your best and also be willing to learn from people that have been on the ground for some time. I think yes, but like I mentioned, obviously, um, with other things, things that are inevitable, i.e. technologies, there's always ad advancements that are being made every now and then, but I think where you guys stand now, I think we're good. You guys are good, like, we, you're able to produce people that, you can, that can go out to the world and have acquaintance when it comes to even electronics, electronics major with mechanical and so on and so forth, but I think yes. Like I said, I'm very impressed with what I saw. I, never, I for one, never thought Nautic actually has this system. Obviously, I knew it. I knew it, obviously, to have HER. I just never imagined even these new systems that have been uh, released into the, into the uh, trade have been actually incorporated or infused in, with Nautic's uh, syllabuses and whatnot. So I think, yes, 